Now at noon, getting food to those who need it the most right now as Rhode Island deals with this coronavirus pandemic. A partnership distributed food to hundreds of people this morning at McCoy Stadium, spearheaded by Ocean State Job Lot. Eyewitness News reporter Brandon Truitt leads off our continuing coverage from Pawtucket. This operation was put together by both the public and private sector in less than 24 hours. In total, they are aiming to help hundreds of people in need of food. I was amazed at all the vehicles. There's a saying, if you build it, he will come. It's from an old baseball movie, so it makes this baseball stadium a fitting backdrop. So there's a lot of gratitude, there's a lot of partnership, there's a lot of camaraderie, and this is a community. A community giving back. Good morning. On Wednesday morning, McCoy Stadium filled with cars yet again. This time, the lines were to get food. You know, it's good that it's coming together, but there's also the reality of, hey, these are the times we're in and these people need the support. This distribution event headed up by the Ocean State Job Lot Charitable Foundation, using more than a dozen distributors, this drive through will place 20 pallets of food into the hands who need it. I expect we're probably going to do at least 500 to 1,000 cars here. The teamwork described as a home run all its own. David Sarlito with Ocean State called up his friend Mike Tamburo with the Paw Sox. He needed a parking lot and facilities to store the food. And to be able to fill that need is, is uh, well, it's, heart, it's, it's heartwarming. It, it really and truly is. A need some people may not have expected. I think these are a lot of giving people, and there are many, many more in these lines that never thought they would be there. And organizers tell me they hope to have more of these events in the future. Their goal being to get the food from their distributors to the people who need it as fast as they can. In Pawtucket, Brandon Truett, Eyewitness News. And this Friday, WPRI 12 holding a fundraising drive for the Rhode Island Community Food Bank, which is seeing increased demand, of course, right now. If you'd like to donate and help your neighbors, there's more information on our website, WPRI.com.